Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Dr. Showers. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Ikebu. Good morning. Good morning, Cameron. Okay, uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Precalculus 3A. Good morning, Mr. Cable. Thank you, Glorious. Make some noise, guys, please. I'll mute yourself and say hello. Good morning. Everybody. Good morning. Good morning, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Farah, Sharon. I've not heard some people's voice. What's going on? Yanaja, Wendy, Belsam, Adam. What's going on? Hi. Hi. Kelena, Gabriel, Jawan. Joshua, Ivan, Kelly, Alegna, Laurel, Joseph. So welcome back to um, Precalculus. So once again, every day brings us closer to the finish line for the seniors who are with us, but we are still not there yet. We are getting closer. So between now and I was told that your graduation date is going to be or your last day rather, is gonna be May 14th. So there is going to be a lot of stuff that will be going on. So make sure you are participating, make sure you are turning in your work on time, make sure you don't have any missing assignment because it might be too late. And then when it's too late, you call me, I will say, too bad. So make sure you're submitting everything and on time, okay? Make sure you're asking questions. You're asking for clarification if there's any, any information you are not 100% about. Make sure you are taking responsibility for whatever you do, all right? So with us today is a special guest from Bowie, Bowie State University. I'm sorry. And uh, there's a program Bowie State University is organizing with PGCPS. So Dr. Terry Showers will be with us today. Welcome, Dr. Showers. Thank you. And thank you for allowing me to participate in this class. I think it's very exciting to hear the responses of the students to uh, tell you good morning and to bring great greetings. I love the engagement. And again, to work along with uh, Mr. Kabarok. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, my students, uh, they know our colleague, uh, Mr. Gustin. So we've been here for a while, two, two or three weeks, as the case might be. I even forgot. So we've been here long enough that I don't even remember. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, um, so today's class, so we are going to do a couple of activities. And each of those activities is aimed at doing just one thing, which is, Number one, to ensure that you learn and understand how to solve and analyze arithmetic series, arithmetic series, how to analyze and solve problems relating to arithmetic series. So that's the objective. So every activity that we are going to do today is geared towards uh, fulfilling that objective. So at the end of the class, you should be able to tell me if you can solve a real world problem relating to arithmetic series. But before we do that, there is something we must do. And I think I tried to do it last class, but we didn't have enough time, but I'm going to dedicate just five minutes for today to do it. And that is called reviewing your portfolio, okay? Was it portfolio of capstone? Capstone. Capstone, okay. So I'm gonna go back and then we look at the capstone. I just need five minutes so that we can review it. I wanna make sure that everybody's on the same page. How does that sound? Good. All right, so let's go. So it should be problem capstone, problem nine and 10. And um, so whether you turned it or not, so, but you make, make sure you're paying attention. So I need a volunteer at this time. Who would want us to review their documents? Okay, I'm gonna choose randomly. Who? Kaylee, you can do mine. Okay, Kelly uh, volunteered. Okay, so let's, let's, um, 
Help me locate your document, Kelly. It's all the way at the bottom, the last one. The last one, the last okay. One right all right, here. Okay, thank you. So we are going to use uh, Kelly's work as a case study. So the first thing we are going to do will be to check for completeness, to make sure everything is complete, not yet the accuracy. So we are gonna come back to the accuracy. So uh, let me just, um, okay, so I'm starting from the first page. Okay, she has her title, which is Pre-Calculus Capstone Project with a very nice um, math, um, image by Kelly Yancey submitted to Mr. Cable Duval High School. So this one checks out. Next is the table of contents. Okay, so table of contents looks good, but we will still have to insert the real table, the real um, page numbers. So who remembers how to insert a page number in a document? Where should I go? I want to insert a page number in this document. We don't have a lot of time. We just have just about five minutes to finish everything here. How do I insert a, doc, a page number in a document? This is um, Google Doc. Uh, I think you double click at the top of the page. Yes, I'm right there already. So what, what shall I click? No, it has actual page. And actual page. OK, I can see what it says insert. Does that work? Where are the where are the IT gurus in this class? Insert um, page number. Um, if you want to add a, are you adding a page? I'm not adding. I'm page? just I'm just um, inserting a, a page number. That's all I'm doing. Oh yeah, you're at the right place. So insert page number. So let's pick this one. So make sure everyone you have to insert a page number in your document. And um, we just did right now. You can see. This thing started at now, it ignored the cover page and started from the table of content, which is good. So we have um, page one, page two, page three. Okay, we are good so far. All right, so now the importance of this page number is the same thing with that of your test book. For example, here it says uh, uh, cover page right now. We can just say cover page is now we can just call it um, cover page, or we call it page zero. It doesn't really matter. But here's the one that counts. This, this place that says uh, table of content, you can now see that your table of content is on page one, right? So here's page one. So that's where you put here, page one, real number one. And then you follow that lead and uh, label, you know, insert the right thing. Now for this essay, we don't need this anymore. We don't need first essay anymore. Just remove that. And since you already have a title for the essay, so your page number for essay is gonna be page two. Now on this one, it says problems we solved in class. So let's just call it problems and um, solutions. So everybody, you have to relabel yours, problems and solutions. And then you come back to this place and call it problems and solutions. It's already fine here. And then you put the, the necessary, the right page number as the case might be. So this is what you need to do. And then make sure by the time I see your um, capstone again, make sure you have written introduction. So there should be introduction here, introduction. So by this time, at least you should have known what this project is all about. And then you should be able to write at least uh, one or two paragraphs to introduce your essay. And I'm sorry, to introduce your capstone project. All right, if I were you, I will just increase the font. I will bold it, I will underline it, and then I'll write my introduction. Any questions so far before we, we exit this place? No. Okay, are we all good? Okay, now let me scroll down and check the problems. I'm not checking for accuracy right now. I'm just checking for completion right now. Um, problem eight, solution. If you are writing something like this, um, look at uh, this one says tangent is, I just saw a number. How about the formula? How about the formula? So you need to include the formula before you make your substitution. 
Am I making sense? So you have to include the formula. Remember your words. What's the formula? How do you get a sign? Okay, you see, this one has a formula. I love this. It has a formula before the substitution. Okay, this one doesn't have a formula here. You have to start with a formula always. Write the formula that you are going to use before you make your substitution. That's part of the process. Okay. Uh, Kelly, are you going to fix it? Kelly, this is your work. Yes, that's my work. All right. So you have to fix it. Write your formula where necessary and then, you know, rewrite it and then, you know, insert your document again and you'll be fine. And that applies to everybody. So review your own work and we take it from there. Okay, thank you. If you want your work, I will. I can return it so that you can fix it. You want me to return it? Yes, yeah, so I can fix it. Okay, so I will return for everybody so that you can fix your work, okay? Um, I need to do this. Okay, I'll return for everybody so that you can fix it. Unless you don't want to score maximum point. Give me one second. So this is, um, okay, please fix it and resubmit like um before the day runs out okay all right now let's now let's get back to our main topic for the day so we just reviewed our capstone so let's get back to the main topic the main topic should be look at this is happening again can you see no you're not sharing your screen mr table i've started experiencing this um problem again look at can you see what is happening now yeah and then when you click on it it comes back and it doesn't want to go away so could you exit out yeah that's what i would that's what i would do but i doubt if that's going to fix the problem you see anyway uh while this is going on let's just do something else um let's do something else um hold on maybe you okay. should reboot your system I, that means I'm going to lose myself or I will lose some students. So we'll, let's we'll do something back. else before we come back to that. Okay, so here's what we are going to do now. Um, the topic, please write down the topic or uh, write down the topic. It's called finite arithmetic sequence. Let me type it using the chat box. Let me type the topic using the chat box, okay? It's called um, finite arithmetic sequence can you all see it yes yeah okay so now um let's just watch a video and then we take it from there let's watch a video right now i wanted us to do a warm-up and i wanted to write the warm-up on the screen but it's not working so let's watch a video and then we take it from there okay um this says find the finding the sum of a finite arithmetic series so let's watch this video Please pay close attention. If possible, take us take hold on, uh, please. Pay close attention. After this video, we are going to hold a class discussion based on this video. So cl pay close attention. All right. Okay. In this video, I want to talk about finding the sum of a finite arithmetic series. Um, so remember, an arithmetic sequence is just a sequence. Um, it's just a listing of numbers where to go from one number to another number, um, there's a constant difference. So notice in my listing of numbers I've just made here, 5 to 11 to 17 to 23, you're adding 6 every time to get to the next number. And that's an example of what we call an arithmetic sequence. When we start actually adding those numbers together, um, that's when we talk about what's called an arithmetic series. Okay, so series has something to do with adding the terms up. And the formula says, it says the sum S sub N of the first N terms of an arithmetic series. Um, looks like A sub N of an arithmetic series. Um, this is the formula for A sub N. It's A sub 1, which represents the first term of um, the, the sequence of the series, plus N minus 1 times D. And here are two equivalent formulas for the sum of those N terms. We take the number of terms N, we multiply that by the, the uh, first term plus the last term, and then we divide that by 2, 
or equivalently, we can take the number of terms that we have in brackets. 2 times the first term plus n minus 1 times d. d, again, is the common difference. So here my common difference, we would say our d value. Mr. Cable? Yes. Um, because the volume really is divide. really low on your end. Again, we divide that's that by two. Hold on. Um, so I'm going to do two kind of... Uh, that's actually... Here. Hold on. And so I put my formulas here at the top. So suppose we start looking at this arithmetic sequence. 2, 5, 8, 11. That's actually the maximum from my own end. My volume is on 100% as well. So Yeah, so um, it, it looks like the audio is uh, low from the uh, speaker's uh, point of view. So would we have to just look at the video ourselves? Um, Is that what you want? Would that work better? I don't mind you doing that, but I don't want us to waste uh, so much time. The video is old, so it's going to sound like that. Yeah, so it, uh, the sound is going to be the same thing. Just pay attention, please. Let's manage it because it has a good concept they are trying to explain here. All right? This is arithmetic because we're adding three, 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 three each time. So our common difference is a D value of three. And I'm going to do two things. I'm going to find the sum of the first n, of the first ten terms, and then I'm going to find the sum um, of the series starting with the eleventh term but ending with the twenty-eighth. So kind of uh, some stuff in the middle. I'm going to add up. Okay, so I can use either one of these formulas. Um, I think I'm going to use the one here on the right when I do part A here. Um, so let me erase. Uh, let me erase part B here. Um, I actually want to point out a couple of things here too. We'll do that first. Okay. Um, so we're adding A1 plus A2 plus A3 uh, up to A10. We know what A1 is. It's 2. A2 is 5. A3 is 8. Um, we've got a formula to calculate A sub 10 if we wanted to. And we could just plug that in. Or equivalently, again, I'm just going to use this formula. Um, one remark I want to make here, how many terms are we adding up? Well, we're, we're certainly adding up 10 terms, but this is going to kind of play into the second problem is why I'm pointing it out. If you start with the first term and you, and you end with the 10th term, um, notice if you subtract the, uh, the index is 10 minus 1, you get 9, but we do have 10 terms here. So keep that in mind because I'm going to revisit that in the second example, that, that idea, because I think people do make some mistakes. But okay, so I think this one's pretty straightforward. So to use this formula on the right, it says we take the number of terms, which we just said is 10. It says we take two times the first term. Well, the first term in this case is two. We take the number of terms and subtract one, multiply that by D, Again, the common difference, which in this case is three, and then we simply divide all that by two. So just be a little careful with your order of operations. Um, let's see, two times two is four inside. Um, 10 minus one is nine times three. Uh, that's gonna be 27, all divided by two. Well, 10 divided by two is five, uh, 27, and four is gonna give us 31. And it says if we were to add up all those numbers and to list them all out, we would get the sum 155. Okay, so not too bad. Um, you can certainly use this other formula. You can compute a sub n using the formula. Is the audio better? Because I put it in a, a, a speaker, outside speaker. Is that better? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I had on the uh, kind of the first page and then uh, show that you do get the same thing. We'll write them all out and add up the first 10 terms and see that you get it. So let's do the second part of my problem here. And there's many different ways that you could use the second part of this problem. So I'm gonna keep in mind, we said you got 155 for part A. Um, part B, we wanted to add the 11th term. Um, so starting with the 11th term, through, I think I said the 28th term. Okay, so again, I'm gonna use the same formula here on the right, but we just have to be a little bit more careful about what we plug in here. Okay, 
So the 11th term, that's going to be a sub 11. That's what we'll start with. And then we would add the 12th term, um, the 13th term, um, all the way up to the 28th term. So in this case, n represents in this formula the number of of terms that you're adding up. So the number of terms in this case, this is where you have to be careful. This is what I was saying a second ago. Um, you can't just take 28 minus 11. That's not correct. It's going to be one too few. And remember, if we did A1 through A10, we said if you add that up, well, if you count them, you certainly get 10. But if you subtract, you get 10 minus 1, which is 9. So the idea is to get the number of terms, you can subtract the indexes, but then you have to add 1. So I'm going to add 1 to this to get the correct number of uh, of terms. So 28 minus 11 is 17 plus 1. It says we have 18 terms that we're going to add up. And I'm just simply going to compute the first number, and I'm going to plug it in right here. Again, it's, it's not a sub 1 of the original series, but it would be the first term of my new series. So that's the idea. Okay, so we said a sub n is going to be our first term. So to calculate the 11th term, we do have to go back to the original. So a little confusing here. You really have to think um, about where things are coming from. So a sub 11, um, it says we take the first term, which is 2. We take n minus 1, which is going to be 10, times the common difference, which in this case is 3. So you get 30 plus 2, or 32. So that's actually going to be, um, I should put a sub 11 down here, excuse me. If we were to list all these, all the terms out in this, uh, this original sequence, you would find that when you get to the 11th term, that's when I get the number 32. Okay, so now I'm just going to use this original formula again because I think I have the crucial information. Um, so we said there's going to be 18 terms. So again, this one's certainly a little bit trickier than the first one. The first one's pretty straightforward. Um, so 18 terms. So it says we have, it says the sum of those terms, it says it's going to be n, which is 18. We take two times the first term, which would be 32. We take n minus 1, which would be 18 minus 1, or 17, times the original d value, which is 3. And then again, we have to divide all that by 2. All right, so 18 divided by 2 is 9. 2 times 32, that's 64. Um, 3 times 17, what is that? That's 51. So 64 and 51, what is that? It looks like uh, 115. Oh, 9 times 115, um, what's that going to be? You can check my arithmetic. I think it's going to be 1045. Should be. No. How about 1035? That sounds better. Um, yes, much better. All right. Um, so, again, the second problem is a little trickier because you're kind of adding things starting in the middle. So we really have to figure out what that the first term would be which in this case would be figuring out the 11th term. And that's what we did. And then we were just careful to count the number of terms. And then we just used our formula. So part B might be a little trickier. You might have to watch it a couple of times. Um, and of course, as always, you should really stop and think of, you know, think it through yourself before you do anything. Um, so there's certainly, I think, other ways to do it. That's simply one way of doing it. So, all right, um, I hope this example makes some sense and help you out. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them. Hope Okay, guys, welcome back. Um, okay, guys, uh, welcome back. Yes, uh, Jawan, yeah, go ahead. Um, Gloria says she lost connection. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, that's technical issue on her part. If she tries to connect, I will add her back. I don't know what's going on behind the scene. All right. Yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. All right, now let's move forward, ladies and gentlemen. Um, now, looking at those two formulas, which one is easier to work with? The, the, the speaker there presented two formulas, so which one is easier to work with, the first one or the second one? Individually, I would say the first one. 
Okay, so why? There looks to be less values you have to put in. Okay, there are there are less um, uh, variables to work with. Is that what you want to say? Yes. Okay, so now who who disagrees with uh, Laurel? If you disagree, you can say I disagree because, and then you make a point. Or if you think um, you are more comfortable with the first one, so uh, we are going to put it to practice right now. So you either use the first one or you use the second one. So I will just put on the chat box, I will just say, I will type the question that you are supposed to uh, solve right now, and then I'll give you about three minutes to do it. So the question is going to be, I can read it out right now. Find the common difference and the next three terms of the following arithmetic sequence. So let me type it so that everybody will be sure of what I'm talking about. Um, hold on. Okay, so it is, it says find, I'm putting it on the chat because I can't write. Find the common difference and the next three terms of the following arithmetic uh, sequence. Okay, so I'm just going to give you one of it, which is, um, which is, uh, hold on, please. Negative four, which is a negative four, comma, negative five, comma, negative. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. Six starts with six. One, negative four, negative nine, and what again? Negative 14. Negative 14. So find the common difference and the next three terms. Also, sum them, sum the sequence, sum the sequence. Should we sum the sequence including the three other terms or without the three terms? Like how many terms do we have right now? We have five terms right now. Okay, um, that's a good question. Do every question is good. So just sum the sequence of the one you see, the one you see that the one I just typed excluding the other three ones. I just want to make sure that everybody's on the same page. Did you put it in the chat yet? That's what I'm about to do right now. I'm about to hit um, enter. Boom. Can you find it now, Adam? No. It's right there. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I sent it to only one person. I'm sorry. It has to be to everybody. Copy. It has, it has to be to, to everybody. Message to everyone. There you go. Thank you. All right, so find the common difference. That's one minute. Next three terms, that's another one minute. And then sum them, two minutes. So a total of four minutes. You have four minutes. Like quattro minutos, guys. <laughs> Did I get it correct? <laughs> and the four minutes ends at 12.08. Ends at 12.08. You have two more minutes, ladies and gentlemen. One more minute. All right, so this is uh, 12.08 and that's the end of four minutes. So let's get back together. So who is ready to share their solution, their answers? Let's start with the answer first. So I'm gonna pick name randomly. And if I call your name, you have to give me an answer. If your mic is not working, please type using the chat box, okay? Question. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh. Adam, do you have a question? So when you say answer, do you mean like everything or do you, I mean, do you just want to- The, the last answer, the last answer, if he says answer, the, if I say add 
common difference. So you need to tell me the common difference. Then I'll ask another person the, the next three terms. Then I'll ask another person when they sum it. So we are looking for three answers now. So we need to get the answers, then we get to the solution. So do you want to launch it? Adam, do you want to start? I mean, I can give you the difference. I mean- Okay, so what's the difference? Come on, difference. Negative four. Adam said negative four. Oh, wait, wait, negative five, I mean, my bad. Okay, he said negative five. If you agree with Adam, say yes. If you disagree, say no. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay, everybody saying yes. Who is not sure? If you're not sure, let me know. Yes. Uh, the yes, uh, Yanaja, is that yes, you're not sure, or yes, it is negative five? I agree with him. Okay, thank you. So next person, um, Wendy, uh, what's the next three terms? Um, it would be negative 19, negative 24, and negative 29. Negative 19, negative 24, and negative um, 29. Okay, so who agrees? Uh, who? Okay, let's start with who disagrees. The first question was who agrees? Who disagrees with uh, Wendy? If you have a different set of uh, numbers, let, let us know so that we can check it out. Can she repeat what she said? What are the numbers? Wendy, can you repeat yourself, please? Nicely and loudly. Negative 19, negative 24, and negative 29. Adam, you got it? Yeah. Okay, now, do you agree, Adam? Yes. Okay, now, um, did anybody disagree? Okay, now, um, who wants to explain how they got the first one, negative, the negative 19? Who wants to explain how they got the negative 19? Not Wendy. Wendy has already given us an answer, and you said you agree. So who wants to explain how they got the negative answer, negative 19, the first one? Decreasing by negative 5. So like, or well, I guess, so I did negative 14 minus negative, I mean, minus five, or I guess you could say negative. Okay, Adam said he did negative 14, negative five. Which equaled negative 19. Which equals negative 19. All and right, then, sounds good, thank you. All right, so now let's go to the next question, which is, uh, sum them. Remember, we said that you have to sum the first five set of numbers that are given. So when you sum it, what's the solution? I'm going to pick num somebody randomly. Random selection, random selection, random selection, random selection. Ashley, can you help us out, please? Hello. Yes. So when, when if did you sum the um did you sum the the, the numbers? Um, I'm still calculating it okay who completed victor how about you oh uh, just one more minute please okay so i'm gonna give everybody one more minute does that sound good okay yeah, i'm giving good. you one more minute to uh, uh sum the number sum the number remember they demonstrated to us how to use the formula so you have to use either of the two formulas i hope you can see the board i'm unable to write so i just wrote it on the board i hope you can see it so that's what you need to use. You have 20 more seconds, five more seconds. Okay, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. So who is now ready with a solution? Uh, Ashley? Yes, Ashley, go ahead. Just give us the answer, then we, we take it from there. Um, I got negative 210. Negative 210. Okay, who got something else before we verify that? Victor, you said I should give you one more minute. So what did you get? Uh, Joseph, how about you? I'm still doing it right now, sir. So which formula are you using? The first one that I saw in the video. Okay. Ashley, which one did you use? The one on the board. Okay, the one on the board. Okay, I'm going to give everybody another 10 seconds before uh, we shall verify what uh, um, uh, Ashley gave us, whether it is a uh, correct mistake anything that needs to be fixed. 10 more seconds. This formula, Laurel, you, uh, you said that the first one is um, easier. So what's your own solution, Laurel? I got negative 20. Negative 20? Yes. Negative 20? Uh, Mr. Gable, you said uh, part of the question is to find the next three um, terms. So are we supposed to add that to 
I, I, I gave a clarification earlier. Laura asked if uh, we should include the additional three numbers. I said no. I said just give us some, this one, six, negative one, negative, uh, is it negative five or what? Negative one again. Uh, four. Um, then negative nine and negative 14. So this is what you have solved in negative 14. So Laurel, you say you got negative 20 and actually yeah. got negative uh, 210. So Laurel, can you go ahead and explain to us what you did? Okay. Everybody, look at the board. I'm going to write exactly what she said. Okay. All right, go ahead, Laurel. Okay, so since we had five values, it would be S of five, I guess you could say, because that's the number of terms. S of five equal to? That would be equal to five, since N is going to be five. Five. Our first term was six, so I put six in parentheses. Six. And our fifth term was negative 14. Plus negative 14. And then I put that over two. Okay. And then what do you get? Okay, just... hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There is this thing they told me when I came to the United States. It's called PEMDAS. So, PEMDAS. So, which one are we supposed to evaluate first? What is inside the parentheses? Okay. So, why? Because P stands for parentheses. All right, thank you. Go ahead. So six plus negative 14 is equal to negative eight. Okay, so I, sh I should just write five bracket negative eight. Negative eight, not 18. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> negative eight. And then that's over two. Over two. And then five times negative eight is negative 40, and that's still over two. Negative 40 over two. And then that would equal negative 20 when you okay. divide negative 40. So SN is equal to negative 20. Ashley. I thought that was a multiplication symbol. Which one? The first one. I didn't know it was addition. What do you mean? This is multiplication right here. No, the one in the parentheses. I thought it was multiplication. Oh, sorry. It's all addition. It's addition. It's addition. And uh, if you look at the last, I hope you were here. If you look at your last. Um, no, I came during the second video. Okay. It's, um, it's addition. It's addition. So the error you made was just the sign that you put in there. Okay. Now, any question from what we have just done so far? If you think there's something missing or, uh, or an error in what uh, Kelly told us, this is your chance now to point it out. Gabriel, Gabriel, are you still in this class? Yeah, I'm here. I, I'm not hearing your voice. <laughs> so now look at, help us verify this. Look at this, um, look at this, uh, uh, the process that Laurel gave us right now. Let, let Help us to verify whether it is, um, whether you think it's correct, if there is an error, if there's anything that you want to add or even take away so that we can. No, I agree with her. All right. Good job, Laurel. Thank you. Thank you. So now we got a consultant. All right, so um, now we are going to do another activity and this time around it's going to be reading. So I'm just going to give you, I already posted it on Google Classroom. So I'll just give you about five minutes. You guys read fantastic. Your reading is actually better than mine. So I want you to read. Uh, use all the, the, the reading techniques that you learned from your English class. There was this thing that they told me, it's called annotation. So annotate, find out the word, the meaning of the words, and then apply them. So I, I'm going to give you five minutes. So now let me share my screen just in case. And you can also open it from your own side. I actually, I actually prefer that you open it from your own side. Um, this, we have to close this one. Hold on, it looks like Glorious wants to come back and share on. So open it from your own end, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I'm going. I'm just going to your Google Classroom. Here is the test right here, this one. 
So please start reading from, from page, from this very page, and then all the way to start from example four. Start from example four, and then read all the way to, um, all the way to page 36. Okay, so read all the way to page 36, five minutes. Do you think that's enough? So read from example four to uh, page 36, okay? The five minutes is going to end at 12.24, 12.24. No, I'm sorry, not 12.24, 12.28. Uh, Pat say 12.24 is in a minute. Yeah, 12.28, yes. Adam, I'm sorry. Uh, Mr. Cable, did we watch a video or something? Yeah, we did. we did. We did. I, I'm sorry. I will post the video again on Google. I will post the video again on Google Classroom. I was told that uh, you got disconnected. I did. Sorry about that. So, but read this one. You are going to get just about the same information or something extra. So while you are doing that, let me see if I can get that video and add it to the platform. Yeah, glorious. I've added the video. So you can watch it later on. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. So I want to give you enough. I want to give you enough time, everybody, so that you can do the uh, the required task for the day. And then you have one more minute. Okay, this is. Um, let's get back together, ladies and gentlemen. So this is twelve twenty eight. Let's get back together. Let me share my own screen and we we'll take it from there. Okay, uh, let's go. How many of you have seen this sign, this very symbol right here? This very symbol, the one I am, the one that they call Sigma notation, this symbol right here. How many of you have seen it before? I don't. So where did you see it? Do you remember? I've seen it on some calculators. Okay, very good. Oh, I've seen that. Before. So where did you see it, Glorious? Something that had to relate with statistics. Okay, remember for those of you who took, um, uh, there was a time we did something like standard deviation. Yeah. Yes, so now let me show you one thing now. Let me show you this. So um, we are gonna come back to this, just watch. Let's, let me share my screen again. Um, I will come to email. I'll come to Google Sheets. And then I want to open a new document. And then let me just type in some numbers. Watch, I'm gonna type the, the same number that we worked with, the same number that we worked with. So which was uh, six. And then next is, uh, next is one. Next is negative four. Next is negative nine. Next is uh, negative, I'm sorry negative 14. Okay, now look at this. Can you all see my screen? Yes. Can you see what I'm pointing at? Yes. yes. Okay, so now this is, that's, that's the sigma sign. And you also find it in Microsoft Excel. So now let's see how we can use it. So let's see how we can use it here. So I just want to highlight all these and then I'll click on this sign. It has to do, there are some options. So one of them is sum, average, count, maximum, minimum, and all this stuff. So, but we just need some, right? We just need some. So I'll just click, boom. So it gave us what? What did it give us? The sum, negative 20. Negative 20. So which means Laurel was correct, all right? So now let's get back to the page where we were. So that's, that's what it is meant for. This is a Greek alphabet. This is a practical example of what we are doing. So if you're going to be doing your taxes, accounting and stuff like that, where you are required to use some of these um, um, Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets, then you need to use that. Now, basically what they are saying here is they're just creating a function. I wish I could write. So they just created a function. And then this function starts with um, one. The I here, the I you see here is called index. So it starts with one and it ends nine. So let me see if I can write something on the board. So basically I have to stop sharing this so that you can see my board now. 
So basically you have summation of i equal to one n. So you have two i minus, what's the number? Minus six. So essentially what you need to do is for the first one, f of i, you just plug in the value, it starts with one. So you just plug in two multiplied by one minus six, f of two, two multiplied by two minus six, and then f of three, two multiplied by three minus six. You just keep going. Once you get all your answers, you just add them up. So, so you just keep going until you get to f of nine. Until you get to f of nine. So once you get there, you just add them up. So what is uh, two times one is? Two. Two. Two and then two minus um, six is? Negative four. Negative four. So the other one would be two times two is four minus six. Negative two. Negative two. Two times six minus six. Two times three. Zero. Two times three, six minus six is zero. And then you just keep going until you get to the F of nine. So at the end of it, you are going to add your A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4 plus A5 plus A6 plus A7 plus A8 plus A9. You just add them up. So that's what that summation is actually supposed to do or how to use it at least okay so currently the time now is uh, 9 12 35 if you have a question you can ask now other than that i'm going to give you just five problems for your task and you should have up to 105 to complete it um mr cable yes for solving um the standard deviation um after you do that step isn't there another step after it if it was a standard deviation, the formula yeah. would have been, uh, what's that standard deviation? STD equal to summation of X minus X bar whole squared divided by um, N, and then that's square root, square root. So in the, in the, in the case of the standard deviation, we were, we were adding the numbers directly. We were adding it directly. So we were adding, when we did the, the square deviation, we were just adding them. That's what that sign says. The sign says, add, 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 add. Just keep adding whatever number you got. So yeah. we were performing that addition directly, okay? But for the purpose of this class, I just want you to know the sign and that it is used for summation. Okay. All right. So now the assignment, let me share my screen again. So the, the task is going to be in this page. So now I, I'm, I wanna give you five problems. Out of the five problems, select two from the left side and select two from the right side, including number 11. So you have to select any two, then the number 11 will make it number three. No, the third one. So in other words, from number one to number five, select two problems to answer. And then from number six to number 10, select another two problems to answer, except number six, which we have just done. So except number six, so you can select five or seven or eight or nine or 10. And then we add it up to number 11. So I want you to make the choice. That's gonna be five problems. So which one do you select? Start from the left side. We were selecting as a class or individual? Uh, as a class. I can select for you if you want. Can we do it individually? Um, okay, okay, I'll, 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 okay. So select two from this side, from the left side, and then select another two from the uh, right side, including number 11, to make it a total of uh, five. So you can select any one of your choice, all right? Okay. All right. So you have a document. All you're doing is you select the any two of your choice, excluding number six. We have already done number six. We did number six together here. 
So you are not selecting number six anymore. So you can select five, seven, eight, nine, ten, but you have to also add 11 to make it the fifth one. So then while you're doing that, I'm going to adjust the assignment. So I'll just say, select five problems from page 37, including number 11 and excluding number six. Two problems from the left side and two from the right side in addition to number 11 to have a total of five problems. So due date is today and due time is um, 1, 105. Please make sure you type your name for attendance, please. Don't forget to type your name for attendance. You can do that right away, please. Guys, we have about 20 more minutes. <laughs> that's, too, that's too much, but that's okay. If you finish and, um, and you have typed your name and you have up uploaded your answer, your solution rather, then you are free to go. If you finished, you typed your name and you have uploaded your solution, then you can go. But you have to do all these. Oh, uh, look at the group chat. What? Nothing. I, yes, hold on, hold on. I don't understand some of the things that are that are there. No, that wasn't for you, Mr. Cable. Sorry. <laughs> but can you give me a hint? What is GC? <laughs> Glorious, what is GC? Group chat. Oh, group chat. Okay. Question. Yes, go ahead. Well, what is the sigma? I mean, the um little the big three or whatever in the formula for your arithmetic series. That's the sigma, right? Yes, the sign is called sigma sign. What does it do? To to sum to add up something to uh, to add up a series of numbers. If I say add one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six plus seven till plus whatever, then that's what I can use to write it. Do I have to use that? Um, it depends. Uh, if it says sum, if you say sum something, then you have to. I can't just add it up myself. No, you. It, it depends. It, for example, in number four, number four, you have to use that sign. Number four, you have to use it. Which other number that, um, I think that's about it. You need, you need that sign in number four. So if I chose to do everything, I mean, two problems except for four, that's fine. Yes, yeah, as long as it's from the left side, two problems from the left side, and then two from the right, including number 11. Number 11 must be there. Okay, cool. Yeah, so any two, and then remember we have already done number six. So, you have to cross out number six. So you can select either number five or seven or eight or nine or 10, and then include number 11. So if you're not choosing number four, then you, you, you may not use um, the sigma sign. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Wait, are we allowed to use the other formulas? I mean, yes, you can use the formula if they were, uh, wherever it applies. So we can use the explicit formula? Yes, you can use any formula as long as it applies, it can be used in solving the problem. Okay. Any formula that you can use that will help in solving the problem, use it. As long as it's mathematically uh, correct. Unless a problem specifically asks you to use a particular method, you are free to use any method of your choice. If the problem says use, let's say use a quadratic equation, formula, then that's what you need to use because the person wants to check your understanding of quadratic equation formula. But if it doesn't say that, if you want to use factor, factoring or completing the square or whatever method, that's up to you. You have two more minutes, ladies and gentlemen, two, two more minutes. Two more minutes, ladies and gentlemen, two, like in those minutes. Okay, guys, do you need extra minutes to finish? Like, uh, like when do you want to submit it? Like, how many more minutes do you think you need so that you will not be late? Um, 3.30. 3.30. Okay, I'll give you 3.30.
Have a nice time, everyone. Thank you. I'll give you 3 30. Have a nice time, everyone. Okay. You too. See you. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Have a nice time. I wish you cake too. Uh, Ashley, yes. Bye. Bye. Cameron, uh, bye. Belsam, for day. Miss you, Kabu. Yes. I, I turned in my uh, capstone problems. It's, it's <laughs> late, but I turned them in. I hope you turned it. Where did you turn it? Did you turn it at the number number nine, um, capstone nine and 10? Yeah, I turned them all in, in their like respective area. Okay, I need everything in nine and 10. Okay, it's everything's in nine and 10. All right, that's fine. I'll check it out, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, bye-bye.